Today, we're reviewing the Finu 2.1 channel soundbar. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. For one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. This is the Finu 2.1 channel soundbar with a five and a quarter subwoofer and 120 amps. Let's go ahead and open this box. I have not yet, so you are going to be experiencing this with me. It's actually directions on how to correctly open this box, so let's see. Ha, there we go. Oop. Make sure everything's out of there. All right, so now that we have the contents out of the box, let's see what all we have here. So this says important, so let's take a look at this first. An accessories box. And that's looking like it has all of our cords we're going to need. So we have some cords, some mounting directions more cords. I feel like there's something else in here. Ah! Gloves! So you can keep everything nice and tidy and don't get your smudgy fingers on there. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So that was all in the accessories box. And then let's see what else. We do have what looks like in here a remote control and then also a setup guide in here. Let's take a look at this remote control. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna open everything up and then we will be testing and letting you know by the end of this video what we think of the sound quality and if we can feel the sound as they say. Um, nice looking remote, clean, clean looking remote. Has your power, mute, pair, input, volume, you can skip. There's a choice for music, news, and movies. 3D button. Interesting. And then your treble and bass controls are also right here on the remote control, which is pretty cool. Because a lot of times you have to go into a menu setting in order to get to that. And right here, it's right on the remote control. So that's pretty sweet. So here is our subwoofer. And now we have the actual sound bar. You can see it fits nicely on a table, so if you want to have it on your desktop, you could do so. Or on the back, they do have um, some spots to have your mounting brackets, which in the accessories, they did provide what you would need for those mounting brackets. Also on the back here is where you're gonna find all of your input cords, which they did also provide within the accessories, your HDMI and other cords that you might be needing. On the side of your sound bar is where you'll see if you chose not to use your remote, that in the middle button there is an on and off, and then the bottom button is for you to reduce the sound or reduce the volume, and then the top is a plus where you can increase. And then we also have a USB input as well. So at this point, it's time for me to just uh, set this up, do some testing, and then I will let you know how that sound quality is. When you're assembling, you're gonna have about six feet of separation between the subwoofer and the sound bar. So make sure that you have your placement set. And then you're simply going to take the cord that's on the subwoofer and then plug it into your SW out. You will notice I am now wearing the gloves because I highly advise you wear the gloves <laughs> in order to not get your smudges on here. And primarily for a phone, you're going to be using the auxiliary. I know typically I will use an auxiliary and this also does have Bluetooth technology. So we will be testing that as well. Then the HDMI would then be plugged into either your computer or your TV in order to get that sound. When you're turning it on, you're going to hear a beep sound, and then you should be seeing a light in the middle of your sound bar. 
So we just did several tests and in conclusion, this is a great soundbar, especially given the price, it's extremely affordable. And so if you're looking for a soundbar for your home, for your office, for any needs, this is a really good soundbar. A couple things to address though. Number one, it does not have an auxiliary cord. And so if you're planning on connecting using an auxiliary cord, make sure to plan ahead and purchase one. Also, you're gonna need two AAA batteries to operate this really nice remote. It does not come with the two AAA batteries. But the setup and the assembly was really easy. It got started right away. The Bluetooth connection was freaky fast. It, it did not take time at all to connect with Bluetooth. And when you're searching for the Bluetooth, you're gonna wanna search for P27. That is the actual model of this sound bar. And you're gonna know what mode you're in by looking at the front of the sound bar. It's gonna show you what mode you're in. In addition to when you're changing the volume, you're going to see the volume settings and the volume level on the front of the sound bar as well. The volume goes up to 32. So that's kind of 100% is 32. It probably means 32 decibels. And honestly, 32 was loud. I was able to hear it all around my house. I have about an 1800 square foot house and I could hear it everywhere. And so when it's loud, it is pretty loud. And then when it was at level 10 or so, it was still a really good sound especially if we're going to be using it for your office, for example. And so in all, once again, really nice, easy to set up, has a lot of the accessories on there. Do wear the gloves again when you're assembling. So you'll be amazed even if you think you have the cleanest hands, the smudges that will show. And so to have a nice clean look, utilize the gloves when you're setting up. So if you're looking for a soundbar, I highly suggest that you look more into this Fianu P27 soundbar. It did a great job, it sounds great, and it might be something that's perfect for you.